All right, so in this project, we're going to be building a photo gallery. So you'll be able to create, log in, register, create galleries, upload photos to those galleries. And we're going to be using the Laravel PHP framework. Now, Laravel is probably the most popular open source PHP framework of its kind. Um, I wouldn't say it's it's simple to use, but it's not um, it's not too bad. Uh, but there is a lot you can do with it. Uh, you can do a lot with the core system, and you can, of course, extend it. So that's what we're going to do. This is the documentation for Laravel 5.2. Um, to install it, we're going to be using Composer. So let's open up a command line or a shell. Um, and we're going to go to our server root, which is htdocs in my case. And we're going to have to install Composer. And I think I already have it there, but I'm going to delete it. It's just this composer far file. Uh, I'm going to delete it just to show you how to do it. So let's see. I still can't remember the command, so I got to look it up. Okay, if we go to getting started, you can use curl if you'd like. Uh, I'm going to use the PHP command. Oops. All right, so we'll just paste that right in there. And that'll just create that composer far file. Okay, so now what we want to do is install Laravel. Now I had some issues using the Laravel, um, this Laravel command with the installer plugin. So I'm going to do it this way using composer. So we're going to do PHP uh, composer dot far and then we're going to say create project preferred dist uh, Laravel slash Laravel and then the name of the app which is going to be photo gallery. Alright, and that could take a couple minutes. I'm actually going to pause it and I'll be back when it's done. Alright guys, so we're all set. That should be installed. So if we go to our htdocs, we now have a folder called Photo Gallery. And you can see we have all the Laravel folders and files in there. Alright, so let's go to... Uh, local host. Now if we just go to photo gallery, if we just go to the folder that we installed it in, you'll see we just get a listing of folders and files. That's because the public part of the application is in the public folder, so we have to go to public. Alright, and this is the start page. Now obviously when you have this on a live site or even in development, you probably don't want to have to go to slash public. So what we can do is we're using Apache, we can create a virtual host and point it to whatever location we want. All right, so to do that, we're gonna go back into our XAMPP folder. And if you're using a Linux server or something uh, other than XAMPP, if you're using Apache, you wanna go into your Apache folder and to conf and then extra and then you'll have this httpd vhost dot uh, vhost dot cont file you want to open that up and down at the bottom here uh, if you haven't touched this file this line here is probably has a uh, it's probably a comment it's probably um, has that in front of it you just want to get rid of that and then down here we need to create an entry for this uh, Laravel installation. So we're going to copy that. And you guys probably don't have this. Uh, just copy what I'm doing if you don't. But you might want to put this here as the first one because uh, you want localhost to just go to your root. All right. But for the second one, we're going to point this to the Laravel installation. So we're going to say htdocs slash photo. Whoop, no more caps. Photo gallery slash public. All right, and then this you can pretty much put this to whatever you want. 
I'm just going to put it to photo gallery. This is this will be the address you put in the URL bar to get to your app. All right, so we're going to save that. That's all set. Now we have one other thing we need to do here. We need to edit the host file. All right, so let me just. Uh, what we're going to do is open up Notepad, and you want to open it as an administrator. And then we're going to navigate. Let's say open, and you want to go to your C drive, and Windows, and then System 32, and then Drivers, and then ETC. All right, and then down here you want to make sure you can see all files, and you want to open the host file. All right, and what we're going to do is just put in an entry for photo gallery. So I'm going to copy that. And we're just going to change that to photo gallery and save it. All right, so now we have to just restart Apache. That should stop. I usually disable this um, UAC. All right, so now we're going to start it again. And now if we just go to HTTP photo gallery, that's going to take us to our application. Now we have a few different options on where we could go from here. What I'd like to do is start to create our controllers and our routes. All right, and then probably in the next video we can move on to the database. Okay, so when using Laravel, it comes with a really nice command line tool called Artisan. So I'm going to open up my command line, and we want to go to the project folder. And let's go ahead and run PHP Artisan. And we want to create a controller. So we're going to say make controller. And we're going to call this gallery controller. All right. And then we want to create one more called photo controller. Oops, what did I do? I click the insert. Okay, so now if we look in, you want to go in your app folder and then to HTTP and then controllers and you'll see we have gallery and photo. All right, so it gives us the basic structure. It doesn't create any methods for us. But let's go ahead and create, um, we'll create an index. This is going to list galleries. So we'll say public function index and for now we'll just say die and gallery index and we'll save that so we want to map some routes so our routes file is in the same it's in the HTTP folder here and then routes PHP and you can see we have a default route for uh, for the slash which is the home page and that goes to welcome but what I want to do is change this um, actually you know what we're going to get rid of this whole second parameter function and we're just gonna say we want the the home page to go to the gallery controller and we want it to go to the index method alright so now if we go ahead and reload we get our gallery index. All right, now we also want to create a uh, some RESTful routes. For instance, we want to be able to go to gallery slash add, and that'll bring us to a form. All right, so to create RESTful routes, we're going to map a resource. All right, so let's say route get. And I'm sorry, not route get, route resource. 
and we're going to say gallery and then second parameter will be gallery controller all right and then we want to do the same for the photo uh, photo resource and this will be photo controller now if we go to our gallery controller and let's create let's create a create function and this will it'll show the create form so public function create and for now we're just gonna do a die and we'll say gallery create so now we should be able to go to gallery slash I know I said add but I think create sounds better so that's gonna take us there so that's gonna show the create form I'm gonna show you how to map to a view and then once we submit that form we're gonna submit it to a store function so this will store gallery okay so we'll say public function store all right and that's gonna take in a request so we're going to define request and then we're going to have a request variable and we'll take care of that later on and then the final method of this class of this controller is the show okay and that's going to show all the photos in that particular gallery Right now, this is going to take in an ID because we need to know which gallery to show. All right, now if we go for this, let's just say die and we'll pass in the ID. So if we go to gallery show slash one, it's going to give us an error. All right, since we're using this format, we need to add that to the routes file. So we're going to go under the resources and I'm going to copy this all right and we want slash gallery slash show and then we need a dynamic ID so we're going to go like that and then we're going to map that to the show method okay so now if we reload it's going to give us whatever we put in the URL if we put it 12 it's going to give us a 12. We're passing that to this method. Now we're going to do something very similar with the photo get with the photo controller as well. So for now, let's just copy these methods and put that in there. Except we're not going to need um, we're not going to need an index. So we can get rid of that. All right, and then the show, I'm going to call that details. This is going to be to view the single image and its information. So this will show photo details. This is going to store the photo. This will show the create form, and we'll change that to photo. And that looks good. All right, so we should now also be able to go to, let's say, photo create. Okay. So that's all set. We have our methods. In the next video, we're going to create our views, and I'll show you how to map a, um, a controller method to a view. And we're also we're going to be using the foundation CSS framework and um, we'll get that all set up we'll create a layout um, and go from there alright so I'll see you in the next video